N4H and H here. How much difference does a roofing filter make? Well, I'm listening to this guy straight up 600, no other help. 600 hertz roofing filter. There's what it would sound like using a sideband filter. A different guy, but uh, you get the point. 600, 300. Now, of course, that's the way it used to be done until modern DSP. First thing I'm engaging, digital noise reduction on the 5000 here, set at 15, oops, here we go, get it, there we go, so look at the difference that makes. You listen to it process there for a second, watch when I first turn it on, or listen when I first turn it on. And it tracks him down, pulls him out. Now, look at this. See, I'm not set on narrow. So the DSP is not going to go less than 500. So I go over here and I press the narrow button. Ooh, what a difference. All right, now let's turn all this back off again. Six hundred hertz roofing filter. Three K. Six hundred. Three hundred. Six hundred. Three hundred. Definitely helps. Okay, here comes noise reduction. Narrowed the DSP down to 100 hertz. Oh, we got the other station in there now. He's a little bit high. There he is. Okay. Now, APF, audio peak filter. He's better if I tell the audio peak filter to listen 20 hertz low. So let me put it back at zero. Yeah, there he is. So it likes him best at 020. So back to the audio peak filter. where he is okay so again I'll turn all that off there's just a 300 Hertz filter it's a great time to be a ham radio operator when we have DSP filters that do that well let me leave you on a good note DSP digital signal or digital noise reduction one hertz, 100 hertz width. I'll even take that down to 50. Audio peak filter. And I'm going to kick in my mu tuner. Now look what it does to the S meter. Okay, you've got some insertion loss, but listen to that versus that.
Big difference. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. 73 from N4 H&H &H and the Yaesu FTDX 5000.